Hello guys, while using AI for coding, I noticed one underrated feature of IDEs like Cursor or VS Code that not many people talk about. So when coding with AI, we talk usually about two use cases. First case is tab. So for example, you click enter and then cursor suggests you something and then you click tab. Similar may happen in VS Code or other IDEs. And another typical use case, you open the agent window. This can be in cursor or in Cloud Code, for example or in Codex CLI, and then you prompt AI to do something. But let me show you another use case and the reason why, in my opinion, CLI-based agents like Cloud Code and Codex will not fully take the market. So here I am in cursor, and later I will show you the same thing in VS Code. Imagine some kind of code that I want to refactor. For example, in this Laravel code, which someone sent me for review, I don't like the structure of grouping the controller and I want to change that to one controller per line with full path. So what can I do? I can highlight that code, that piece of code until here, and then I see quick edit. And then after I click here, I can type in whatever prompt I want. It's similar to IDE like PHP Storm, refactor this or change something. But in this case, you're not attached to any function of IDE. You don't have to remember any keyboard shortcuts or menu items. You just start typing your prompt. So here's my prompt in free form human language. And you can also choose the model or choose auto in cursor. And look what happens now. In roughly a few seconds, the things will start being changed. And this was exactly what I meant to have one controller on each line. And then in cursor, you may choose to undo or keep the changes. So let's click undo and open the same project in Visual Studio Code. So a bit different interface, but the same thing. You highlight the code, that part. And then in case of VS Code, and this is one of the things why I don't really like VS Code because small details are missing. So there's no immediate way to type in the prompt. You can right click and then you find out that there's a shortcut to open inline chat, which is command I on my MacBook. So I click here and do the same thing, the same prompt. You may also choose the model and then roughly same thing should happen. Maybe a bit slower generally, typically in VS Code. It depends on the model as well. But in this case, that quick refactor should be with the same successful result, and it is. So with such quick inline refactoring, I think IDEs, AI IDEs like Cursor, VS Code, Windsurf, Antigravity, and similar will still survive for a very long time because you cannot achieve the same thing easily with something like Cloud Code or Codex CLI. Well, you can, but it's not that convenient. So for example, I can open Cloud Code inside of Cursor and I can start typing the prompt. And if I have IDE connected, in this case, I have Cursor. Let me show you that. So there's a way to attach Cursor to Cloud Code, which then allows you to do the same thing. You highlight the code like this. And instead of prompting cursor, you go to terminal in your cloud code sees that there are 31 lines selected and you type in the same prompt. So if you type in here, then cloud will probably do the same or roughly the same thing. But in this case, you don't see the changes in live mode, you're out of IDE, you're in terminal. And then after this is done, you need to jump back into IDE probably to approve the changes. I'm not even sure at this point. Well, actually, it opens the changes in IDE directly. But still, to me, it's a mixed experience. So now am I in the terminal? Should I approve it here? Or should I approve it visually in IDE? The actual answer is if I scroll down in terminal, I need to approve that edit of the file and it would be edited by Cloud Code. But still, it's a few unnecessary steps to make the changes instead of inline edit, similar like we've been doing that in IDEs for many years with direct IDE functions like select and refactor something. So same, but just with AI. What do you guys think? Are you using such quick edit functions? And in which editor do you use? And which IDE is better for that experience? Let's discuss all of that in the comments below. And finally, a quick reminder about my newsletter that I send every Wednesday. So here's the latest issue, which covers Opus 4.5, Antigravity, and many more topics with opinions from the community and myself. And if you want to get that every Wednesday, the summary of the week in AI coding in a nutshell, you can subscribe and the link will be in the description below. It is free. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.